Hi guys, I'm Claire and welcome back to What's To Like. So today we're going to be reviewing uh, another new product which is the uh, Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. Now I'm a massive fan of Bare Minerals. I've used them for probably nine years. Uh, I've got all the foundations, I've tried every single one and there's only one uh, foundation out of the whole line that, I've, that I didn't like and that was the Pressed Ready Foundation but all the other foundations I've ever tried I've really loved and I've stuck to using them and I've replaced them every time they've run out so I was super excited when they brought a full coverage matte foundation out so I'm going to give this a try today and see what we think. I did also buy the brush that goes with the foundation which they advise you to use but you could use any foundation brush really. This is the Lux Performance Wear foundation brush and it's got a tapered slanted on one side which I think is quite good to get into all the little areas that you need to. So I thought we'd give this a whirl with this one. I do half my face with the brush and then half the face with a Real Techniques blending sponge and just see what the difference is. Now I have already prepped my skin which is quite red at the minute because I've just done a review on the Glam Glow Flash Mud, the brightening one because it's made my skin really red but if you're interested in watching that review you can go over and have a look at that one as well and I can also link that one down below. So I'm just going to put my hair back and then we'll get to it and test the foundation out on my skin. I think I'll just put a little bit more of the moisturiser on just to give myself a tacky base. This one's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturiser. That's quite sticky. So I'm just going to take a little compact mirror. And this comes with a pump, and um, so it's easy to get out and you're not wasting any product in the bottom of the bottle. Just rub that around the face. This is really runny. So I've done a pump on each side of my face. So I'm going to take the brush first on the right side of my face. That gives you really good coverage and it's a, um, a naturally matte finish on the skin that blends really easily and that's without any primer just moisturizer there's no streaky lines or anything in the um, application the brush applies it really well and it does get into all the little areas that you need it to get into. And I've got breakouts across my jaw and it is covering them quite well. They are peeking through a little bit but not nothing major. You could add a little bit more concealer to cover those up. Do you want me to bring it down your neck? the side with the brush. It does seem to dry quite quickly so I'm going to go onto the other side and blend out the other side with a damp Real Techniques sponge and that blends out really easy with the sponge as well. I actually think it applies better with the sponge rather than the brush that it's meant to be used with. With it being damp and because it's a matte finish it seems to move the product around a bit easier so if you've already got a sponge you don't really need to buy the brush although it does apply nice with the brush as well Apply a little bit more in the areas that I need more coverage, see if I can build it up. Try and cover my blemishes a bit more. Just take half a pump. And I'm going to use the sponge rather than the uh, brush to blend that out. Now 
Now it says it's a, a natural and matte finish, and I'd agree. It is quite matte, but there's still a slight sheen to the face, which is reflected off the lights. I think if you're in outside normal day situations, your face wouldn't be as bright as this. So I'm just going to let that set, sit on my skin a little while, see if it oxidises. It doesn't look like it's oxidising, I don't know whether you can tell any different. I really like it. It's a nice finish. I'll get some information up for you, give you a bit of the rundown about the information. I bought it direct from bareminerals.co.uk and the shade that I went for was Dawn. Zero 02. They do 30 shades. It's £29 for 30ml. And the brush, I'll find you in a second. I'll just tell you a bit more about the details of the product. It said uh, the texture is, is creamy liquid. I'd agree, it's quite runny, so you need to move with it quite quickly. The finish is naturally matte, and the shade range is 32 to you shades. It works around the clock, it said it's got a 24 hour breathable full coverage powered by Mineral Lock Longwear technology. Minerals adhere to the pigments and the lipids in your skin to give you a natural finish and it said it's transfer resistant. It says that it's good for your skin, a foundation that is good for your skin. The luxuriously creamy liquid contains bamboo stem extract for naturally matte soft focus finish while papaya enzyme improves the texture both immediately and over time. I'm all about that. For good skin ingredients that won't clock your pores, I'm all about that as well. It's this foundation that works hard and plays hard as you do. It is humidity, heat and water resistant, sweat resistant. So if you're a girl that likes to, or a guy that likes to wear foundation to the gym, I'd give this one a try. It says that it has a, a non-chemical SPF um, in there which is good for your sun protection and it with it being non-chemical it's really good for anti-aging uh, it doesn't add to uh, aging of your skin uh, like I say it has 30 true shades and it has been tested in trials which I'll tell you about it says 100% of women tested uh, experience imp improvement in their skin texture and hydration immediately upon application I don't know whether you'd tell with it been on your skin straight away it still feels a little bit tacky I'm guessing it will dry down if it's a matte finish. It said it improves, improved on application and significantly improved um, the appearance of pores after three weeks. Um, I'm going to try this for three weeks and see if it does work. Clinically uh, shown to improve the hydration by up to 30% just after one week. Clinically shown to improve the appearance of skin texture by 50% after six weeks of use. And like I said, it improves the sizes of your pores over six weeks as well. So this has got some big claims. And I've never really known uh, Bare Minerals not to deliver on their products. It's oil free, paraba paraban free, sulfate free and fra fragrance free. It doesn't smell of anything. It's hypoallergenically hypo hypo tested, dermatologically tested, and it's designed for all skin types. So anybody can use this. So as long as it lives up to the um, hype of what it says, I could see this being one of my Holy Grail foundations, as well as long all the other uh, Bare Minerals foundations. I really like this. So I have also got the, the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer, which I thought I'd give a, a try and see what it finishes like on top, because it's all like the foundation being nice, but it has to mix with all well, the products nice as well. So I'll just apply a little bit of this in the areas that I would normally apply it to. And a little bit on the blemishes that I've got. I don't tend to use a lot of concealer around my eyes. That blends quite well into it. I have noticed a little bit on my cheek it is lifting once it's dried. So maybe you have to work more quickly than I've just done to apply your concealer. So 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just loose translucent powder over the skin just to set it. It still feels a little bit tacky, so I think you would need to set it. I'll just be two seconds. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm just going to do a light dusting of that over the top just to set it in place. Just empty a bit of that into the cap. Use a big um, Real Techniques powder brush just to dust it over the face. Just a light layer of that on. And this just takes some of the sheen out of the foundation, but that's fine because it's meant to be a matte foundation anyway. And I use a setting spray to set it in place, which will bring a bit more shine back to the face. I'm just going to add a little bit of blusher just to bring a bit of colour to the face as well before spray and this is the Milani uh, Luminoso um, blusher, bait blusher and I'm applying that with a tapered face brush by Bare Minerals this is quite pigmented so ensure to buff that out properly And this brings some luminosity back to the face as well because it's got some sheen to it. I'll just do a light dusting of a setting spray and the one I'm using today is the Insta Fix and Go by Rimmel. Let that dry down. So I would say this is a definite go for me. I will keep using it for the next few weeks, let you know whether it does live up to its height, whether it does improve the texture of your skin, and whether it does help with blemishes, with hydration. Um, I think it go gives perfect coverage to the skin. Uh, if you wanted to make it a little bit lighter, if you didn't want the, f the fullest of coverage, you could just add a little bit of moisturizer into this, just to give you a, a bit more light coverage, but it, it is nice. It does settle a little bit into your fine lines, but I think that with any full coverage matte foundation you're going to get that it will emphasize most of your imperfections but if you're okay with that then go ahead with it i really like it and i'd recommend it to you so if you're interested in watching any of my other videos please subscribe and um, so you can keep up to date with my latest uploads like and comment this video and i'll see you next time thank you bye